Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome to a place where you can kick your life. Orchids for Dummies, a sentimental channel, a channel for new beginners, a channel to get your life, okay? In today's video, I want to share with you some of my Phalaenopsis orchids. I want to share with you a secret care tip that will help you be able to tell if your orchid is doing good or if it's doing bad. So you got to stay tuned. All right, fam, fam, so you want to do this early in the morning or late in the evening, okay? When the sun is coming up or when the sun is going down. In today's video, I want to share with you how you can hold your orchids up to the light and you will be able to see things that you were not able to see, okay? Let me show you. Stay tuned. I'm opening the blinds up. So, good morning, Fab Pals. You have your beautiful Phalaenopsis orchid, and you just want to make sure that it's doing well. If you hold it up to the light, you will be able to see the cell walls. Okay, you remember doing an experiment in high school in the science lab. So, this is a beautiful cell wall. Now, this right here, okay, which is very, very, you know, nitpicky, but it's something that you could pay attention to to make sure that it does not spread throughout the plant. So this is what we want our orchids to look like once we hold it up to the light. Let's us know everything is doing just fine. Now, if you have an orchid that is dropping leaves, if you have an orchid that has wrinkled leaves and you want to hold it up to the light, I'm sorry, Fail Pals. How can we do this? You want to hold it up to the light to be able to see what is going on because you can also tell if it has a deficiency. You see how wrinkled that is? That is not good. It just means that the cell walls are full of water, okay? And they're going to burst. They're going to burst open, honey. This orchid is saying, get me out of here. Get me out of here. Okay, here we go. You can see that she is pulling nutrients from that leaf. Okay, but we don't see any of that blackness that I just showed you in the, in the last orchid, which is what you are really looking for. Okay, making sure that no diseases, okay, that can be seen this way are being spread throughout the plant. That's what we're doing, honey. That's what we're doing. Because look, sometimes you will have orchids that you think are doing fine and that is coming back to life. And then, girl, as soon as you hold it up to the light, you can see, honey, she got a virus. She has a virus. Let me get it together, honey. Oh, come on, work for me, work. Can you see it? All that blackness. So I really don't know if I would be able to save this baby. I'm going to do the best that I can. You cannot even see it on the back side of the leaf. Okay, here we go. Now you can see it. Now you can see it. This is what I'm trying to show you. Now this is not, you're not able to see this to the naked eye. Okay, to the naked eye it looks just fine. But when you hold it up to the light, you can see, oh, no, honey, this is not what I want around my other orchids. This is an orchid OTD. It's an orchid OTD, girl. Orchid transmitted disease. I'm trying to tell you. Okay? As well as, honey, you know, some stuff you don't even have to hold up to the light. And you can see what the situation is. But holding your orchids up to the light, you will be able to spot things like this. Okay? Soon. Okay, this is, girl, the end result, the end game. So it's still a little green down there. So I want to be able to cut it off before it transport it to the other leaves. And it should be fine. It should be fine. That's a whole different video, but it should be fine. But when we hold it up to the light, okay, we want to make sure that it's not being transported to new leaves. 
Well, Fab Pimps, I'm not going to be here with you all day. I hope that this made sense because, look, sometimes you will have your orchids like this that is losing bottom leaves, okay? You see how that looks real similar to what I just showed you? But because you don't see any discoloration inside of the leaves, it lets us know that this is adequate, that this is just a natural process, okay, for the Phalaenopsis orchid. It's dropping leaves, okay, not because of an infection, but because it is, you know, it needs those nutrients for something else, okay? So let me show you again. You see how, okay, you can see how it is really green, but it's turning yellow, okay? And it's a soft yellow, okay? Versus this one over here where, honey, it's orange, it's on. She's locked and she's loaded and full of destruction. Well, Fat Pals, I hope that you have a happy growing. Until...